Did you notice something new lately in Helium 10? Keyword Tracker got a complete makeover with exciting new features like Instant Index Checker, a list of your top brand analytics keywords, automated Cerebro runs on your competitors in Keyword Tracker, and more. How cool is that? Pretty cool, I think. Did you know that just because you have a keyword in your listing, that does not mean that you are automatically guaranteed to be searchable, or as we say, indexed for that keyword. Well, how can you know what you are indexed for and not? You can actually use Helium 10's index checker to check any keywords you want. For more information, go to h10.me forward slash index checker. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Serious Sellers Podcast by Helium 10. I am your host, Bradley Sutton, and this is the show that is our monthly Ask Me Anything and special training. And this month, we have a special reveal about phase one of our new keyword tracker launch. So let's go ahead and hop into this. This was recorded live, so I'm also going to have some of the questions that you guys answered. Let's go ahead and hop into it. We are going to now get into the new Helium 10 keyword tracker. This is just the beginning, all right? I've been teasing this for months and months. Now, there's some symbolism going with my wardrobe today for those watching this on YouTube or watching this out there. You'll notice I have the OG Helium 10 logo, okay? So this is the, the original Helium 10 logo from, you know, that got started in 2016, 2017. And then my hat is the new Helium 10 logo, right? And that's symbolic because Keyword Tracker is one of the first tools that came out in 2017 and hasn't had like any earth shattering design changes or things like that for a long time. And now, you know, now we're bringing it to the new Helium 10. What are the new features? Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so here we go, guys. You should already have this new Keyword Tracker window. All right, this is how Keyword Tracker should look. What is new? The first of all, obviously the whole look and feel of Keyword Tracker is different. If you don't have that, you should have a button up here that says try the new Keyword Tracker or something like that, all right? For a little bit of time, you're gonna see a button that says go back to the previous Keyword Tracker. I wouldn't recommend doing that because you know, it's, you're know you gonna have to go to this new one anyways. You can see up here at the top, just like before, how many keywords according to your plan you've used. And I have 30 out of my 500 boost used. You still have similar buttons up here like customize. Actually, this is new. If you hit the customize button, you can now choose which columns you see. You couldn't do that in the old keyword tracker. So I, I right now I have everything included, all right? I'm looking at all columns and there are some new columns that keyword tracker has never had, all right? So that customize button, put what you want. Like maybe you don't care about when the date that it was added, all right? Well, you can go ahead and take that column off now with the new keyword tracker. If you want to add a new product to keyword tracker, it's just right here at the very top right of keyword tracker, there's a button that says add products, all right? Now, once you have all of your products here, without expanding it out, you've got a lot of information. First of all, something that I highly recommend, something brand new, you can add notes, okay? So adding notes is important because now you can like tag it on a certain day, all right? So I could say, hey, today is 813. On this ASIN, I am doing a certain kind of, of test in PPC, or I lowered my price, and then I can make a description here. And so now later on, if you're tracking your keyword ranks and things like that, now you can see, oh, on this date, I raised my price. What happened to my keyword rank after that? On this date, I increased my sponsored ad target bid. And did that improve my sponsored rank? Did it make my sponsored rank worse? You can start tracking a lot of these things. I mean, hopefully you guys were tracking this stuff already, but now it's a little bit easier because you're gonna be able to graph it, all right? This is going to show me the track keywords. If I wanna add more keywords, I just hit this edit button right here. Adding competitors, all right? This is, if you didn't add competitors before, guys, I highly, highly recommend adding competitors to your keyword tracker. It doesn't cost you any more money and I'm gonna show you why that is so important uh, moving forward. Here's something that is still the same as the old keyword tracker. It's gonna show you the number of organic keywords in the top 10 and their combined search volume and the number of organic keywords in top 50. You can actually now hit a graph and see the history over time. How many top, how many of your track keywords have you had in the top 10 over, over time? How many have you had sponsored over time? You can see that right here. Now, here's another thing. You can see now how many Amazon's choice keywords you have. The last time Helium 10 checked, that's something that's that's net new, I believe, where it's gonna let you know, hey, for this product, six of your keywords have Amazon's choice badge for that keyword. Pretty cool, right? 
Another cool new thing, brand analytics, top click keyword. How many of your keywords that you're tracking were you last week one of the top three clicked in all of Amazon for that keyword? That's pretty cool, right? And then not only that, now you hit this button, you're going to see a history of that for your product and the keyword. So now you can see like, all right, hey, every week I'm usually one of the top three clicked on 10 products or 12. And now all of a sudden, one week you see you're down to three. Well, what would that make me do? I'm gonna go in there and see where did I lose being one of the top three click? What's going on? Did I lose my keyword rank? That's brand new. Another thing is going to be keyword suggestions. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. That's something new and that is why you guys need to put your competitors in there. I'm gonna talk about why. Now, another cool thing, you're gonna start seeing now the category and subcategory BSR of your product. If you're tracking your product or your competitor's product as the seed product, you're gonna now see the graph of BSR right here. And you also can now tag your keywords here with different tags. This is a tag for product. Okay, there we go, guys. This tag here is for the product. So maybe, watch this, I'm gonna be like, hey, Manny's Mysterious Oddities, I want to, to add that tag, all right? So now I'm going to be able to tag this coffin letter board as Manny's Mysterious Oddities, and then with this one click at the top, now I'm gonna be able to go to those products, all right? Uh, the other thing I can have here and I can sort by is the date that I added this product to Keyword Tracker. This is another thing that's kind of net new, okay? Now let's dive into the actual keywords, all right? So you hit this button, right? Or by the way, you could actually run Cerebro from Keyword Tracker now. You just hit these three dots that are right next to the picture and you can actually run in Cerebro, all right? And you can run your product in Listing Analyzer as well. But right now we're gonna hit this down arrow so that we can see all of these new tabs right here in the keyword details, okay? And here we go, all right? So first of all, you'll see, I don't know why it's blue. I've been telling them to change that to red. So hopefully they're gonna change the boost back to red. But you can see here in blue, I have a few keywords on boost. Boost is still working the same way. Now, another thing you notice is, do you see that there's a number here for each one? What this is, is like the number of when I added this keyword to Keyword Tracker. If I want to change the order of how it is and I don't want it to go by alphabetical or I don't want to sort it by this, I don't want to sort it by that. This is pretty cool because now I can just change this number right here, okay? And then now that is going to change the order in which the keywords appear in Keyword Tracker, all right? So pretty cool. Another thing, I can add the notes at the keyword level, all right? So I can add notes at the product level. I showed you guys that. I can add notes at the keyword level now. So again, marking when I change something on a certain keyword, like maybe sometimes I'll do test where I'm like, you know what? I wanna insert this keyword into my title. And then does that help my rank over a week or so? Well, I'm gonna add that as a note, the date and time that I actually did that. So then I can go back and graph and see what happened. I mentioned tags for keywords. We had tags for products. This is tags for keywords. So this is a product. This is a coffin letter board. You guys can see this on Amazon now. I'm gonna do a whole podcast about it in Maldives, about the Maldives honeymoon strategy. But you can see I'm literally in launch right now in my phase, what I call phase one launch. So I gave a tag to all of these keywords. So then later I could just hit this button right here. This is my tags. And then it's only going to show the keywords that I, I have a certain tag on it. So maybe I have phase one launch. Maybe I have a group of keywords that I'm doing a PPC test on or whatever. This will allow you to quickly go and go directly to the, whatever group of keywords that you have. Search volume, competing products, organic rank history. These are all pretty much the same. The graphs might look a, a little bit different, but it is, it's, it's basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at, at one of the graphs here, just to see how different it is. All right, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty much the same. You can see here, I can I can click and drag and zoom in. It's pretty much the, the keyword tracker that you guys know and love. We've got keyword sales. Remember guys, last week I talked in depth in our weekly buzz about why this keyword sales metric is more important sometimes than the search volume metric. We've got the CPR number here. The CPR number is based on your product, your exact product. This is where the CPR number is based on your product. If you look at CPR and Cerebro, it's just a general CPR number. This one is based on your product. We've got the suggested PPC bid in here. And then something new, we've got the brand analytics, total click share and total conversion share. Okay, so this is directly from Amazon brand analytics. Now you can see the history of what are the top three clicked products for this keyword that you are tracking in Keyword Tracker. What was the top three click products share of the conversions? In addition, another net new thing here is the department. So you know how sometimes you're on Amazon and you you type in a search. You know what, let's, let's, let's look at that now. Let's actually type, or let's go 
to Amazon. Let's hit Gothic Decor. By the way, guys, if you guys were watching, if you want to look at the search results of any keyword that you're tracking, just hit this arrow button right next to the keyword, and it's going to take you to the search right there on Amazon, okay? Now, you can see here how in Gothic Decor, it now shows which departments the results are in. Well, we are now showing that in Keyword Tracker. And so what happens is, is we are taking that into consideration right here on the last column, you will see it say under departments, how many categories it's under and which categories those are. So it lives, gives you a little bit of extra kind of like, you know, information there. There's a whole bunch that's coming. I'm, I'm still not done here, but we're going to have an index checker button. Like for example, if you notice all of a sudden you are not ranking organically, you are not ranking in sponsor. Ad, what is the next step? Well, the next step is usually, Hey, I need to see, did I lose indexing for this keyword? Have I lost indexing? Well, there's going to be a one click button. Instead of having to copy those keywords, export it to index checker, you are going to have an index checker right here in keyword tracker so that you can within seconds know, is it just that you lost ranking or did you lose indexing as well? Super, super important. All right. So that's coming. We're going to have, I told you guys a long time ago, people were asking for those heat maps of of ranks, just like our market tracker 360 tool has. Well, heat maps are coming here. But one thing that's important, oh, by the way, well, there's a customize for which columns you want in your keyword tracker. And watch this. Here is something that is new for organic rank. Maybe you want to see the rank like you always have. Now you can toggle what page are you showing up? Maybe you don't care about your specific rank, but you're just like, hey, I want to see how many keywords I have on page one. How many are on page two? How many are on page three? Take a look. You can toggle your rank to go from rank to page. That's pretty cool, right? That's something that a lot of our, not a lot, but you know, otherwise we'd have done it earlier, but a number of you were asking us and, and, and it finally got done. It was on our list for a lime. All right. So one thing that I want to go over is the suggestions. All right. So first of all, here's, let me go to a product that I actually have suggestions for. Yes, here we go. I've got one competitor for some reason. Here's here's one that I have five competitors. This will be a better one, all right? So again, make sure to add the competitors. That should be one of the first things you guys do. Here we go. For the bat shelf, I've got competitors. Let me just take a look at who my competitors are. Other bat shelves, okay? Now, by the way, remember how I told you that we are showing you which keywords or how many keywords you have that is one of the top three clicked? Well, the way that you know it is there's gonna be an ABA and a number one, number two, or number three. That's the symbol that lets you know if last week you were one of the top one, two, or three products that were clicked from that search page. But anyways, this is showing me the ranks of all of my competitors. You guys see that here? All of my competitors, I know it's kind of hard to see. All right, so this is my bat bath mat, and here are all of my competitors, and now I can see if they are ranking or not. Where is their average rank? How many of them are ranking? Like for example, this is a keyword that's pretty important, right? Bat mat. This is a bat shaped bath mat. Bat mat obviously is a keyword I want to check. And so I can see only three out of my six competitors are ranking for it, but the average rank is 25. So they're pretty much, maybe most of them are on page one, if not all. Okay. I also have the competitor performance. Score. This is the key. This is the, the, the way that I can see which are the most important keywords to my niche, right? It's, it's, it's the same metric that comes from Cerebro. And so the high competitor performance score means that most of your competitors that you entered are all ranking for that keyword and they're all ranking highly. That's what gets you a 10 out of 10. All right. So look at that. These are all completely new things that keyword tracker has never had. Okay. Now let's go right here to suggested keywords. By the way, you saw that I was looking at organic rank for my competitors. I can also look at their sponsored rank too. Under suggested keywords, this is going to be something pretty cool. This is very similar to what we had in our insights dashboard. Once I add my competitors, now I can customize my settings and I can almost kind of like automate Cerebro guys right here in keyword tracker. So I could be like, Hey, you know what? My competitors, I got five of them. I want to know if there is a keyword that has at least 500 search volume and my rank is between zero and zero, meaning I'm not ranked at all. And at least one of my competitors right here, minimum one has the organic rank between one and 20. I want a suggestion. So in other words, what this means is I'm basically automating Cerebro and I'm telling Keyword Tracker, hey, watch my competitors so I don't have to run them in Cerebro. And if they start ranking for a keyword 
on the first page in the first 20 positions and I'm not ranking at all, give me a notification. That's just an example. I, I could put any anything in here. I could be like, hey, give me a notification if my rank is between 40 and 300, but but their rank is one in 40 or one in 39, right? So in other words, hey, show me the keywords where I'm not on page one and where they are, right? I could do a lot of those options. Another thing is I could run Cerebro on my own product in the background. Like I obviously, when I started Keyword Tracker, I probably had a good idea of what my main keywords are. But as you know, I hope you run Cerebro on your own product, like once every two weeks or once a month to see, hey, am I ranking for new keywords that I didn't even realize I was relevant for? Is Amazon showing me highly in sponsored rank where where I didn't even know that the auto campaign was showing me for? Well, you know what? Go ahead and set this notification in Keyword Tracker where you can say, hey, for any keyword that has at least 300 search volume where my organic rank is between one and 30, give me a notification that tells me that I should probably track this keyword and we'll give you that notification as a suggestion. All right, so that's what suggestion means. And then so now I can look at the suggestion knowing that the only way that it was triggered is if something hit those rules that I put, all right? But right here, I'm going to be able to see, hey, which keywords do I want to start tracking? There's probably some, some more things that I'm missing here, but this is just the beginning. Make sure you are using this new keyword tracker and the new features. Every single one of the new features I went over is designed to give you insights that can help you make more money, help you optimize your listing more, help you track what is going on with your competitors. So I want you guys to make sure to use all of those features. Now, this part of the show, when we do this once a month, is a completely open AMA. So you guys can ask me anything uh, about Helium 10, uh, maybe even a couple of Amazon questions if you, if you want, if, I, if we've got the time, um, or it could be about this new keyword tracker. Okay, let me see. We've got one from Jay here. It says, for someone starting again selling on Amazon after five years. Oh, wow. What a, what a long time between selling. Um, where would you recommend to start from in order to learn how to use a software? I'm really lost with this. All right. So Jay, if, if, if you're talking about where to learn how to sell on Amazon, um, we just barely launched a brand new freedom ticket. So even if you were selling five years ago, trust me, so much has changed on Amazon. I highly recommend, uh, what going through the freedom ticket. So if you're a helium 10 member, which I'm assuming you are, it sounds like, you know, when you say software there, you have access hundred percent to freedom ticket five years ago. And you remember you probably had to pay a thousand dollars for freedom ticket. Not anymore. You have, you have it covered for free. So go into freedom ticket, take that to see what's new on Amazon. The second thing to learn how to use the tools, go into the learn button in every tool. All right. Just take a refresher course, or if you just want to knock it all out in like three hours, you can go to a, a completely free website, academy.helium10.com academy.helium10.com. It has all of our tool software training videos all in one place. You could probably knock it out in two hours, maybe three hours if you're just watching it at one X speed. Uh, but if you're two Xing me, you can probably watch it in like one hour uh, or an hour and a half, all of those videos. And it'll give you a good refresher course on how to get reacquainted with, with Helium 10. And then, like I said, Freedom Ticket is going to give you a nice uh, refresher course on how to get reacquainted with selling on Amazon and Walmart. And we even have now stuff that we definitely didn't have years ago when you were around Jay, like, um, lessons on how to sell on TikTok shop. So pretty cool. Christopher says, what's the best strategy for running out of inventory, especially if you're still in the honeymoon phase? Is there a module about it in the new freedom ticket? I don't remember if I put a module about it, but basically, um, obviously you don't want to run out, but do not try to slow your sales and slow your momentum or raise your price if your conversion rate goes down. Now, if you can raise your price and still get the same amount of sales, I mean, regardless of if you have inventory or not, of course you should raise your price and, and get you know more profit, right? But don't be the kind of people who try to uh, raise your price in order to slow sales because you're shooting yourself in the foot just to not run out of stock. Amazon is really good lately. If you run out of stock and you're only, if you're out of stock of like, for like eight months, I mean, first of all, slowing sales down to, to run out three weeks later than you would have is not going to help you anyways. But yeah, if you're going to be out of stock for eight months, you're, you're kind of screwed anyways, because yeah, you know, Amazon, it might not put you back to where you were, but if you're out of stock for a couple weeks, a month, even I've been out of stock for two months, even recently, because I just had a, a crazy amount of sales that I wasn't expecting, or I had, you know, some shipping delays. Amazon remembers 
what you've done. All right. If, if you're in your forties or fifties, you remember that uh, song from Janet Jackson in the eighties. What have you done for me lately? Amazon asked that question. They know what you've done for Amazon lately. If you are a high performing keyword or a high performing product for a certain keyword, Amazon remembers that. And you, you're not, if you're a page one position three and you're out of stock for a month and a half, does that mean you're immediately going back to page one position three? No, probably not. But it just takes a, a couple of orders like in PPC uh, at the top of search and Amazon will put you like right back up uh, a lot of times. Now, on some of those products where it might be like 300,000 search volume or some crazy amount of sales, right? Um, okay, that one might be a little bit harder to get back to top. It's not going to get to the top with just two or three orders. But yeah, like it's not as critical as it was in the past where you lose your ranking permanently or, or something crazy that would happen to some people like five, six years ago uh, if you went out of stock. Another thing to keep in mind too is uh, you run out of stock fast. Uh, it's not always a bad thing. Remember, if you have a lot of sales, it, it, you have a period of time where you have low stock, that's actually a bad thing. You are going to get a low inventory fee. That's one of the new fees that Amazon put out is if your inventory uh, total for a certain time period dips under a threshold, you're going to get charged for every order that you have. Okay. If you have zero inventory, you run out. Well, at least you're not being charged, you know, that fee again, don't get me wrong. Don't run out. You know, you, you should not run out, but don't do things to slow your sales. If you're going to run out, go ahead and run out at the, whatever velocity you have, because that's, what's helping your keyword rank, you know, how you convert for that keyword. And then, um, as soon as you get back, you know, do a big push, like don't put your, your product live until it's distributed across the country. So make sure to use helium 10 inventory heat maps. So you can see has Amazon distributed amongst other warehouses and then go live, go heavy on PPC, maybe have a big uh, discount uh, a little bit to like really get that momentum going to remind Amazon who you were. And you should get back to page one for your keywords that you were page one for before. Kyle says, can you talk a little bit at atomic and how I can use it as KDP? So I don't think you can use it yet on KDP, but when you can, as long as the API is very similar, it's going to be very similar. Like I run 200 campaigns on my atomic for regular products, not, not KDP, uh, products, regular physical products. And the beauty about it is I can, I can, uh, have suggestions where I'm like, Hey, if I have an auto campaign going, and I get two keyword conversions at a certain A cost. I want you to tell me to move that to my manual campaign. Hey, if I get, I can put rules where I can be like, Hey, if I get 20 clicks on this keyword and no sales, all right. And I've spent more than $10. You know what? I want a negative match that keyword. I can automate that or I can just have it, uh, set a rule where it tells me, Hey, you got 20 clicks over this period of time that you specified. You wanted me to let you know that this happened. Do you want a negative match this? Yes or no. I just hit one button and I say, yes, now it's negative match. I can run analytics across all of my, my campaigns. You know, like I said, I've got 200 campaigns or I can put a query saying, Hey, show me all of the search terms that I have less than four or all the targets where I have less than 4% a costs, right? With at least one sale, obviously you have to have a, uh, sales to have a cost, but you know, then now instantly all of those keywords across all 200 my, 200 of my campaigns will show up. I can just go ahead and just blanket re increase the bid on all of those. I'll be like, you know what? Raise the bid on all of these that I'm below 4% ACOS. Raise my bid by 20%, two clicks of a button. I mean, these kind of things take forever to do by yourself or some of the kind of stuff you have to pay agencies, you know, thousand dollars a month to do. You can have that kind of like all inside of Atomic. So that's how I use Atomic. And I would assume that once it's fully integrated with our KDP community, you're going to have very similar features as well. All right. What other questions guys? We got about five minutes left here. I can go. It's 11 15 PM. So if anybody's in the U S at this time of day, thank you so much for joining. I used to do this back in the day. I, we used to call it midnight madness. I would just go randomly live at like midnight today was half accident. It was, this was supposed to be at 10 15 AM and my team said it at 10 15 PM. So that's why I'm up at this, at this time of day, but I'm happy that uh, I could uh, talk to different people. Cause usually it's a lot of the same people I see in the chat, but today is all new people. Uh, Kyle says, can you tell me a little bit about the CPR score and how accurate is, is in Cerebro? So the CPR is basically the number of units over eight days that you should sell after somebody finds your product in search for that keyword, either organic or sponsored, uh, over eight days that gives you the best chance to stick on page one. 
doesn't guarantee it, but it gives you the best chance. It was a formula that I came up with two years ago, the latest version I, I, I did, or no, it was last year. Uh, a year ago was the latest version. We've updated it three or four times in the last six years. Um, but basically it's, it's gives you a guide of like, Hey, what is it going to take to get on the top as close to the top of page one as possible for the keyword that you're trying to rank for? That's as, that's as, as, as easy as I can kind of like dumb it down of what it is. And it's a number over eight days. So if you have a keyword, like I'm looking at a keyword right now, um, bat mat and, and the CPR number is eight. That means, you know, the search volume is so low. If I get eight purchases, if somebody searched the word bat mat and, and bought a product, eight different people over eight days, I have a pretty darn good chance to get to page one. That's basically what, uh, what it means there. Uh, here's a question from Instagram. Grow with Daniel says, is there a possibility to check on which keyword per competitor is getting sale? Which keyword per competitor? Yes. So, I mean, if I'm understanding Daniel, your, your question is like, Hey, uh, which keywords are driving sales to your competitor? Absolutely. Uh, you just run Cerebro. Okay. There's two, there's two ways you can, you can know about uh, it. You run Cerebro for your competitor and look at anything over 500 search volume where they're ranked between like one and 10, you know, they're getting sales for that keyword or they have gotten sales for the keyword. Unless it's a brand new product, you don't get on the top 10 search results without at some time having, uh, you know, some sales and the higher the search volume, the more sales it is that, that it took to get there. Um, you can also run it in brand analytics. We have that in, in black box brand analytics where you put the ASIN in and now you can see, Hey, your competitor, where were they? One of the top three clicked. And then if they were one of the top three clicked, did they have conversions for that keyword? And how much percent of those conversions? You can have that fully in Helium 10 as well. Oh, and now he says, except using Cerebro. Well, no, Cerebro, I mean, Cerebro and Blackbox. Uh, those are the two ways uh, to do it inside of Helium 10. Jeffrey says, like Cerebro, Blackbox, Magnet to see the ABA and keyword sales. So now uh, for ABA, you now have access to that, Jeffrey. Like that's, we always bring stuff down to platinum. So that used to be diamond only. Uh, the brand analytics data in Cerebro and Magnet now is in Platinum. So you've fully got access to that. Now, Black, the, there's one tool in Blackbox, yes, that that um, Platinum members don't have access to, and that is the Blackbox brand analytics tool. So yeah, that is um, not available separately currently, but you know who knows? Maybe in the future uh, it could be. And I, I swear that keyword sales also was brought down to Platinum. I think you might, check it, Jeffrey, you might have keyword sales if you're based in the U.S., and you're looking at Amazon USA data, you might have the keyword sales there. This presentation uh, is what we do once a month where we have a training on some kind of aspect of Helium 10, and then we have an open Ask Me Anything. So when you guys see the invite to this, make sure to join up next time. Those of you listening to this on the replay or watching this on the podcast or on YouTube later on, uh, we'll, we'll probably do one, or no, we probably, we will do one in uh, probably late September or middle of September. So make sure to sign up early. Um, that one will probably be like in the AM Pacific time instead of PM like this time. But uh, we, you know, make sure to join live so you can get your questions uh, answered. This is what I do for Helium 10 Elite twice a week uh, at times. But once a month, we go ahead and open this up to, to everybody. So I really appreciate everybody joining us uh, at this time of day. And I wish you guys the best of success, and please let us know what you think of uh, phase one of our new keyword tracker. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.